As Marcus Rashford turns 25, it's time to look at the career of the Manchester United star so far. It's been a roller coaster ride for the England international, who's risen, fallen, and is now rising again with Eric Ten Hag as his manager. If he continues at the current rate, who knows what he could achieve in the glorious game? Back in February 2016, when Louis van Gaal ruled the roost at Old Trafford, United suffered an injury crisis. With no Wayne Rooney and Anthony Marshall available for a Europa League clash against Danish side FC Midtjylland, the Dutchman had no choice but to look at the club's academy to fill the void. Rashford, with the number 39 on his back, was then given the chance to prove his worth. Picked as a central striker, with Jesse Lingard, Juan Mata, and Memphis Depay behind him, the stage was his. And the then 18-year-old didn't disappoint, bagging a memorable brace to become the club's latest hero and propel them through to the last 16 of the competition in the process. These might just have been seven of the words that Manchester United's new manager, Eric Ten Hag, has most appreciated hearing in the weeks since he moved to Old Trafford. Spoken by Marcus Rashford in the unlikely surroundings of Melbourne's AAMI Park, they're not a sentence the England striker could have uttered at the end of last season, but they hold out the hope for Ten Hag, and for his England counterpart Gareth Southgate, that a miserable year of collapsing form might be over. If the 24-year-old's right, Melbourne victory could feel the effects of a re-energized Rashford on Friday night, a forward in the strange position of having to prove himself all over again. The headlines in the past 12 months have been the first negativity in the remarkable life of Marcus Rashford so far. A bright young talent for club and country with a prodigious social conscience off the field and the desire to change government policy on child poverty and free school meals. The Rashford fairy tale was only just beginning, however. Rashford, a Manchester United player since the age of seven, scored two goals in his first team debut against Midtjylland in the UEFA Europa League in February 2016, and his Premier League debut three days later against Arsenal. He also scored in his first Manchester Derby and debuts in the EFL Cup and the UEFA Champions League. Rashford's won the FA Cup, EFL Cup, FA Community Shield, and UEFA Europa League with Manchester United. Marcus Rashford was born on the 31st of October 1997 in Manchester and raised in the city's Fallowfield, Withington, and Withenshaw areas. He's of paternal Jamaican descent and maternal Kittitian descent with his grandmother being born on the West Indies island of St. Kitts. Rashford comes from a working class family. His mother's Melanie Maynard, a single parent who often had to work multiple jobs to feed their family, sometimes skipping meals to ensure Rashford and his siblings ate. He has four older siblings, Dwayne Maynard and Dane Rashford, who went on to represent him professionally, and two sisters, Chantel and Claire. He's a cousin of fellow footballer Lois Maynard, who currently plays as a midfielder for Oldham Athletic. A lifelong supporter of his local football club, Manchester United, Rashford grew up in a family divided in their support of United and local rivals, Manchester City. Rashford attended Ashton-on-Mercy School, where United have sent their academy players since 1998, close to their Carrington training ground. He studied for a Business and Technology Education Council, or BTEC, National Diploma in Sport. Rashford began playing football for Fletcher Moss Rangers at five, starting as a goalkeeper, and cited former United goalkeeper Tim Howard as his goalkeeping idol. Fletcher Ross Rangers Academy Development Officer Dave Horrocks recalls that Rashford was on a different level to other boys, playing a significant role as the team won a tournament with 15 scouts from various clubs watching. He spent a week training with Manchester City before he joined the academy system at Manchester United at the age of seven amid interest from Everton and Liverpool. He credited his brothers with helping him decide to join United. Former United youth coach Paul McGuinness quickly saw Rashford's potential due to his athleticism on and off the ball. Still, during his early years at the club, he often had to miss training as he found it difficult to get to exercise due to his mother and brothers working, and eventually received assistance from youth coaches Dave Bushell, Emin Mulvey, and Tony Whelan, who helped find drivers for Rashford to get to the training ground. When he was 11, he became the youngest player to be selected for the Manchester United Schoolboy Scholar Scheme, usually reserved for players 12 and above. He was fast-tracked and began playing cage football with Paul Pogba, Jesse Lingard, and Ravel Morrison, helping to increase his skill level playing with players four years his senior. In 2012, he was part of the Manchester United Under-15 squad, which finished second in the 23rd annual Marvel Tournament. In 2014, The Guardian named him Manchester United's best prospect in the 2014 Next Generation, saying that his total football style gives him a fair chance of going all the way. 
Rashford trained with the United's first team for the first time at age 16 under the management of David Moyes during the 2013-2014 season and described the training session as priceless to himself and other United Academy players. He began training with the first team more regularly and was deemed a high flyer by coaches. In 2015, United Under-19's manager Nicky Butt praised Rashford's performances in a group stage match of the UEFA Youth League. His inclusion in the team began following an injury to Dimitri Mitchell, and he capitalized on his chance by scoring six goals in 11 games in the Under-18's Premier League and three in the Youth League. He was awarded the team's captaincy by Butt, who hailed him as a leader. Rashford was named to the first team bench for the first time on the 21st of November by Louis van Gaal for a Premier League match against Watford which Manchester United won 2-1. He received the number 39 squad number because Van Gaal insisted that strikers wear a squad number containing a 9. The following week against Leicester City, he was again named on the bench but unused in a 1-1 draw. 2015-2016 debut season On the 25th of February 2016, Rashford was included in the 18-man squad for United's UEFA Europa League round of 32 second leg tie against Danish club Michelin owing to an injury crisis that saw 13 players injured. After Anthony Marshall was injured in the warm-up, Rashford was chosen to start the game and marked his first team debut with two goals in the second half of a 5-1 win. Rashford's goals made him United's youngest ever scorer in European competition, beating a record previously held by George Best, later broken by Mason Greenwood in the 2019-2020 season. Rashford made his Premier League debut against Arsenal three days later, he again scored twice and provided the assist for the other goal in a 3-2 home victory against their rivals, making him the third youngest scorer for United in the Premier League after Federico Maqueda and Danny Welbeck. Van Gaal hailed his performance as fantastic and better than his first match, but urged caution from the press not to harass and hype him, feeling he had the character to cope. On March 20th, Rashford made history when he scored the only goal in the Manchester Derby, his team's first away league win over Manchester City since 2012. Aged just 18 years and 141 days, he became the youngest scorer in the fixture in the Premier League era, overtaking Wayne Rooney's record by almost one year. On May 30th, Rashford signed a new contract with United worth £20,000 a week, which would keep him at the club until 2020, with an option to extend for a further year. 2016 to 2017, first team breakthrough and European success. For the new season, marking his place as part of the senior squad, Rashford was given the number 19 by new manager Jose Mourinho. The signing of veteran strikers Latan Ibrahimovic meant he often had to settle for a place on the substitutes bench. However, after signing, Ibrahimovic praised Rashford as a huge talent and the future of England. Rashford scored his first goal of the season on August 27, 2016 against Hull City, scoring in the second minute of injury time after coming on for Juan Mata in the 71st minute. He scored three more times the next month. On September 18th in a 3-1 league defeat to Watford, September 21st in a 3-1 victory against Northampton Town in the EFL Cup third round, and in a 4-1 league win over Leicester City on September 24th. Rashford won his third trophy on February 26th in the EFL Cup Final, coming on as a 77th minute substitute in the 3-2 victory over Southampton. He was instrumental in United's 2-0 win over league leaders Chelsea on April 16th, scoring the first goal after seven minutes from Ander Herrera's through ball. 2017-2019 Sustained individual success and number 10 shirt. Rashford made his first appearance of his second entire season on August 8, 2017, against Real Madrid in the UEFA Super Cup as a 46th-minute substitute in a 2-1 defeat. He started in a 4-0 home win against West Ham United five days later on August 13, providing the assist for Romelu Lukaku's opening goal. Rashford scored his first goal of the season on August 26, the opener in a 2-0 victory over Leicester, three minutes after coming on as a substitute. On September 12th, Rashford scored against Basel in his UEFA Champions League debut, the third in a 3-0 win, marking the sixth competition he had scored in his debut. Before the 2018-2019 season, Rashford was given the squad number 10 following the release of Ibrahimovic, the club's previous number 10. The shirt had also previously been worn by Teddy Sheringham, Ruud van Nistelrooy, and Wayne Rooney in the Premier League. 2019-2022, injury issues and loss of form. On July 1, 2019, Rashford signed a new four-year contract with Manchester United, keeping him at the club until June 2023, with the option to extend by a year. In the season's opening week, Rashford scored a brace in a 4-0 win over Chelsea. 
The season was halted for over three months following a decision on March 13th by the Premier League to suspend the league after several players and other club staff became ill due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In May, Solskjaer announced that Rashford would be fit to play following the return to football during the Project Restart, which saw the season resume behind closed doors for the remainder of the season. On July 4th, he scored his first goal since the restart as United beat Bournemouth 5-2. On January 22, 2022, in a 1-0 win against West Ham United, Rashford came on in the 63rd minute for Anthony Alanga, going on to score a 93rd minute winner. The goal meant he'd scored more last-minute winners in Premier League history, four, than any other player. And new manager Ralph Ragnick responded by saying Rashford was one of the top strikers in England amid a bad run of form. 2022-2023, return to form. After enjoying a successful preseason under new manager Eric Ten Hag, who began the season by deploying Rashford both as a center forward and a left winger, he opened his account for the season by scoring in a 2-1 win against Liverpool, and then twice in a 3-1 win against Arsenal. With an additional two assists, Rashford matched his total goal involvements from the previous season. On January 14, 2023, he was instrumental in United's 2-1 comeback win in the Manchester Derby first being part of the build-up play for United's controversial equalizer, despite being in an offside position, and then scoring the winning goal four minutes later. What do you think about Marcus Rashford? Let us know in the comments. So that's all from today's video. Make sure you hit the bell icon for upcoming videos, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching!